Welcome back, everybody. This is your first time here. Let me introduce myself. My name is Jeff. On my channel here, I don't mess around with lots of fluff and unneeded content. With that, let's get started with today's video. I'll show you how to install and configure the Mover Tuning plugin. Mover Tuning is a plugin that lets you fine tune the operation of the Mover script, giving you full control of what it does and when. Let's get the Mover Tuning plugin set up. But before we begin, have you signed up for our newsletter? It's a monthly publication featuring Unraid news, step-by-step -step guides, and more. Also, join us on Discord. It's a growing community where you can ask and answer tech questions, as well as just connect with like-minded people. Don't miss out. I've included links in the description below. And if you'd like to support the channel more directly, consider becoming a Patreon member. On to mover tuning. All right, to get started, let's jump over to our Unraid server. We're going to go to the Apps tab. We're going to jump over to the search box, and we're going to type in mover tuning. We have a couple different options here. The one I'm going to choose is Squid's version. So find the Squid repository version here and click install. It only takes a second. Once it's done, hit done. Now let's jump over to settings and then go down to scheduler. Open up scheduler and there you'll find your normal parity check. I've already got the parity check tuning plugin installed. Scroll down further. You'll find your mover settings and then below that you'll find mover tuning. Now that it's installed, let's get it set up. Just so you know, if you hover over an item, you'll see a little question mark appear and that's a tool tip. If you click onto it, it'll expand it and give you more detail of what that is. In this case, the disable mover running on a schedule option. This will prevent the mover from running at the scheduled set in mover settings. And you'll only be able to run it by manually invoking it. So nice little tips there. So as you're going through here, if there's something that you're not sure of, you can just go ahead and hover over it. Make sure the little question mark appears, click, and it expands it. Some of them do not have them, but most of them do. And I'm going to go over the ones that I feel are important but feel free to check them out and set them to your own use. So starting off on the top option here, the disable mover running on a schedule, I'm gonna leave that set to no. The priority for a mover process, we want that just set to normal. The parity for disk IO, I'm gonna leave on normal. Only move at this threshold used by cache space. So this is gonna be dependent on the amount of cache space that's used. If it's not at this percentage, then it's not gonna move any data. So it just kind of frees it up from the wear and tear of writing and rewriting all the time. So I'm gonna set that to 50%. Move files off cache based on age, I'm going to leave set to no. But it's handy if you want to leave the files on the cache for a set amount of time. Move files that are greater than this many days old, it's currently set at one. If you set the option above the move files off cache on age, then that option will become available to change. Select yes, and then you've got any number of days to choose from. Like I said, I don't need that, so I'm going to turn that off. And with that, the UC time is disabled, so I'm going to skip over that. All right, we're going to jump down here to ignore files listed inside of a text file. It's currently set to no, and for now, I'm going to leave it at no, but I am going to change this. In the video after this one, I'm going to be going through and setting up the caching of Plex Media files, so it's going to move files that are currently in use or that are queued up for next played. It's going to move those library files over to the cache drive. That way, it's not spinning up your drives if you have them you know, set to go to sleep. It's a nice little feature. But like I said, we'll cover that in the next video. So the next option down, list file path. We're going to leave that blank for now. Ignore file types. I'm going to leave on no. But if you wanted to set a certain file type to be ignored, then you could you know, turn that on and to ignore those files. I'm going to scroll down some more. Right here, log when not moving due to rules. I'm going to turn this on. And I'm going to do that in the beginning just to see what rules are being applied. But later on, I'll go back and set this to no. Force move of all files on a schedule. I'm going to leave set at no. That forces the movement of all cached files and... I don't want that when I'm going to be having the, the Plex cache option set up. Down at the bottom, we've got the Move Now button, which would follow the plugin filters. I'm going to set this to Yes, because if I manually run that, I want it to be following the rules that I'm setting in place here. And then Test Mode, I'm going to leave that set to No. You hit Apply, and then scroll back down and hit Done. And that's it. Pretty simple one today. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the Like button and subscribe to the channel. Then check out one of these next. And I'll see you in the next one.